Hey Divas and Devos. So this is my back to brand. So I started it off as back to Mac. So my back to whatever the brand is going to be has a lot to do with how YouTube used to be. So remember back in 2011, 2010, around that era, like Mac was the stuff and you had to have like your Mac brushes, your pink pots, you, your single eyeshadows, like those were, it was like the bee's knees. So I wanted to bring it back, bring it back to Mac. And that's where the back to and whatever was going to be. So I started off with back to Mac. And I pulled out a whole bunch of my single eyeshadows. I actually have the 15 palette here. Um, looks like that. Um, look for my brushes. I got my brushes out. And this is the look. So because I was going to my daughter's, um, she had a doctor's appointment. So I didn't want to be all flamboyant just in case she was going to end up staying and being admitted to the hospital. Um, that's why I had been making any videos. I tried to post one video, but I was editing it in the hospital, and my computer in the hospital just was not getting along. So therefore, it it happens, you know. Um, but by the time I posted video, that other video, the who's that Cardi, 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 who's that brand, Cardi, that brand. That should be up. Um, also, I have um, a lipstick review or a lip paint review, which is Who's That Brand? And I believe it's Pink Cosmetics. I remember it's Pink P N K, so Pink something. I don't remember. Um, and if, if I'm not mistaken, the Pink Lipstick brand that was a supposed to be part of the bomb but that didn't happen so it didn't work out that way um, but yeah I <laughs> you want to see my station and I, I do this in my kitchen because I don't have a des designated area yet until I find space I don't know what I'm going to do yet but yeah I bought all my Mac stuff and most of the stuff was in my freelance kit um, which I haven't freelanced in a minute now since I've been here, I haven't been asked. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this back to, so this is gonna be back to Mac series. And I don't know if I said it, but this is Playtime, which was a cream sheen and it looks a lot like Up the Amp. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, Tell me what was your favorite products. The next one I want to do is Ink Lot because I used to love Ink Lot eyeshadows. And even though I used to work for MAC and I used to work for Ink Lot or Smashbox or whatever the case may be, I still want to be 100% myself. So these are the stuff that I really like. I didn't buy, I didn't go out and buy anything. These were the things that I had. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Peace and peace. So already put because my camera my mic wasn't working I started my face with the studio moisture fix lotion then I'm gonna go in with some scrub cream because I want my face to be a bit glowy A bit glow is a little understatement. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows because I used to always start my brows off. So what I will do is look for my concealer, which I can't find. Oh, I see it over there. So I'm gonna take the Mac Pro Longwear Concealer, and this is NC45. Just want a little bit. So I did do this tutorial in purple. Um, however, I did not know that my mic was not 
um, working at the time, so it wasn't useful. And then I'm going to go on top as well. Handwritten eyeshadow, the, the pot, and the MAC 266 brush, angle brush. And I'm going to dampen it just a little bit with the mineralized charged water because I don't have any Fix Plus. I have to think about what it was called. I'm just going to fill this in with an eyeshadow. All right, so I'm going to take my MAC 217 brush. I knew you was going to change. Yeah, it's hot. It is a little bit warm. Okay, so I'm going to grab Constructivist Paint Pot and put that all over the lid. Gonna use my MAC 252 brush. Is it the 25? Yep, 252 brush. I'm gonna grab some concealer again. Do two pumps, two, two, two pumps. I'm going to use the MAC 130 brush and put that underneath my eyes. To set it, I'm going to use my MAC 216 brush and I'm going to use Soft Focus. I'm just going to set it. So I pulled out a bunch of MAC Classics. Um, so I'm going to, let's start with texture. A lot of us brown girls used to like texture as a background. So I'm going to go put texture in as a background with a MAC 224 blending brush. So remember back in the day how it just used to be like, it used to be all about single shadows, not the, a, an actual palette where you can just customize everything. I miss that. I miss having a bunch of single shadows. I mean, and I still have it and I still have my palettes and stuff, but it's just not the same. Like it, everyone's not interested in having a single shadow anymore. Everyone's interested in a palette. I get it. I am going to take tempting and a two one two a two one a two five two brush. Oh gosh, this is so pretty. I just miss those things. I, I miss I miss that. I'm just going to place that all over the mobile part of the lid. This is so pretty. Like we just gotta get back to those things like I don't understand so I got the 15 palette I don't know what color I'm gonna go in with but I think I'm gonna use this gold color I just don't know what it's called oh gold mine go figure so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the MAC 219 brush and just put that on the inner court in a tear ducts my eye oh that is pretty gold mine is gorgeous I didn't know that like I kind of steer away from certain colors wow. that's beautiful um let's see Let's take, I'm going to go in with brown down, I think. 
let me see. What's this color next to? So let's go mine. Chainless cork. Cork was a good color too. Cork. Um, pursued. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about pursued. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with my brown down. So I'm gonna go in with brown down. And I'm gonna go in with another two on two brush. Sorry, that's espresso. Where's brown down? I just had that. Here it is. Sorry if you haul all that rambling. That's my son being a, a monster, which is his nickname, Monster. His nickname is Monster because he likes to eat everything. And we're just going to put that into the crease. Oh, yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me that funky. That, that, don't. Going to go ahead and take a little bit of texture and just blend out the harshness. I think I'm going to use like a pop of color down at the bottom. I don't know yet. Because I don't want this to be so sultry. Again, I'm just going to a doctor's appointment with my daughter, which I probably failed to mention. But yeah, I did not bring everything down here for some reason. I just bought like concentrated on the brushes and stuff. But I do have different eyeliners. I just didn't bring them for some reason. So I'm just going to go ahead with a black technical cold pencil and put that on my lash line and we're going to take some vibrant grape and the mac 2 one full brush kind of tap off that access because i've already done my base Oh yeah, that came out really nice. So I'm gonna put orb underneath as a brown bone highlighter, a brown bone highlighter. Oh, that was a mistake. It's already on there now, so I'll fix it. So I'm just going to take my 242 brush. And just blending. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a little saddle on there. And that'll help it. Color down. So this is the 214S brush, stands for synthetic. I like this brush for just powdering my face and things. You know what? Let me start off with this. I'm gonna go in with naturally enhanced, naturally enhanced mineralized skin finish, and it's the four quad like this. I like this to bronze my face up. Oh, it's really nice. Um, so I think I'm going to just use some of this first. I also have this right here and I, I like using this underneath the eye. It's the Sunny Side Up Natural Skin Finish. I like it because it's almost, it's like a brightening effect. And just use my two, my one, six, one sixteen brush. Yeah, more like two. See, I love, it's such a brightening effect. I'm gonna use shadowy, I like shadowy. And I'm gonna go in with an Old Faithful. I haven't used this in so long. It's the two one, the two one, the one six eight brush. Just gonna go ahead with some shadowy. I need to see this close. Shadowy 
really puts a shadow on your face. And I'm just going to pinch it. If I do <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. For highlighter, I am using Superb Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And I'm going to use the MAC 21 the 21 the 137 brush. And I'm also going to wet it. It, it looks well when it's wet. Blah. <laughs> it looks nice when it's wet. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Gonna go ahead and put loads of mascara on. I don't recall which mascara this one was for MAC, but it's, I forgot what it's called. It's my daughter's one. She doesn't. She doesn't mind. I don't have. I don't own any more Mac um, mascara. For lips. I'm going to use, whew, it's hot, MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. I think everyone owned a chestnut. I'm going to put on a little bit of Playtime, which was Limited Dimit, Limited Dimit, Limited Dimit, Limited Edition. But if you have um, Amp, Up the Amp, it's this, it was the same thing. Um, Playtime is uh, a little lighter, not as vibrant. Like Playtime has its own, um, it has its own sheen gloss effect. Hmm, that actually looks nice. It looks quite good. Quite good. So I'm going to do something to my hair and come back for that. 